Hi, my name is Joshua, and in this video we're going to talk about how to create models in payload that look and feel the exact exact same way as the payload models because they are the payload models. So you can see here we have a dashboard and we want to trigger open a model when clicking on this button and we have our own model with our own text and own events. We can perform an action on save or we can just close it. Yes, this is what we're going to create in this video. So what we need is pretty much just a blank slate uh, of a dashboard. If you watch the first video um, of this series, you can recreate it. And we're going to start off here. So first what we need to do is to import all the relevant components that have to do with the model. So first we're going to import model and the hook um, use model. And the important thing is payload itself does not create this model component, but it uses faceless UI. Face, faceless UI slash model in order to uh, trigger and open and close the model. And what we then need is a minimal template. This is actually from the payload components, from payload plates. No, this is wrong. Payload components slash templates. And this is responsible for the basic layout of the model we're going to display. And so the first thing is we need to use the hook const toggle model equals use model. And this toggle model function we are going to feed with a slug. So every model needs its individual slug with which we can uh, trigger that individual model open because you could have potentially hundreds or dozens of models within one component so you can differentiate between them. So we are going to give our model the slug, um, uh, slug model one. You can pretty much name it anything as long as it's unique. This is the important part. It needs to be unique. And the next thing is we want to use a button to open this model. So we're going to create button on click and here we uh, open the or uh, call the toggle modal hook toggle modal with the modal slug yes this is exactly what we need and if we now refresh the page look oh it needs a minute cannot find module components templates. Uh, what went wrong? Okay, yes, I just spelled it wrong. Components. Let's save it again. And reload the page. Perfect, we see our button. And now we're going to create the model. So to create the model, we're going to use the model component with the slug equals slug. And the important thing now is that we're going to use the CSS classes that payload provides us and payload uses within its own models. So in this case, we're going to use the class delete document, the model, and we're going to put in the minimal template and within the minimal template we then can just display our text for example h1 uh, modal then uh, display some text this is important modal text and then have some buttons uh, button and in this case, we're going to style the button a little bit different. Button style, style equals secondary. And we have an on click. Yes, again with the modal slug. So it toggles the modal. We should not already see something happening. If we refresh. And yes, we can see a modal, but this is weird. It's behind this blur. 
Uh, we also need to add class to the minimal template. Class name equals um, delete document template and then um, we're refreshing this. Ah, perfect. Now it shows correctly. And we can click close and open the model and it's exactly like the uh, payload models. So we want also another button. button. Let's just copy this. And this should be a primary button. So we just delete the button style. And we can then have some action performed or oh, actually before the console. So before the uh, model toggle is closed, so console.log model action and apply or name it whatever our action is going to supposed is supposed to be named. So we now go on a page, go into the console. We open our model, we click apply and the model action has been triggered and the model is closed again. So as you see, there's one last thing we want to do is that uh, there should be a padding and actually payload provides us also with a class that we can use in this case. If we encase our two buttons in a div and then class name equals delete document action. Uh, there need to be two underscores here. We save it and reload our page. Open modal. Oh, wait. What did I do wrong? Delete document action, delete document, delete document actions. Ah, it's actions. So refresh it. And now we have the buttons with the correct margin and we can put in here whatever content we want and let the user perform any action. So we can use this model in our own components. Okay, that's it for today. See you the next time.